All right. Uh, welcome to today's episode of AFAB Trans People Helping Each Other Learn How to Do Basic Things That AMAD People Are Taught to Do. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to tie a tie. Uh, so, the first thing you want to make sure you have is like a collared shirt. Um, and if it has these buttons on the collar like mine does, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, like go in and unbutton them first so that you can pop your collar uh, like a bad boy. Oh, hi, Francis. Hang on. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lift this cat up to eye level and give him a couple of big smooches because he's a good boy. Uh, then you're going to want to pick up a tie. So I've got this one. I'm just going to remove the tie clips for now. I'll teach you how to do that in a second um, once it's actually tied. But I have this uh, this fun tie, one of my favorites, um, which is aggressively blue because blue goes with everything. And by everything, I mean not actually everything. Don't pair it with yellow. It'll be an atrocious idea and you'll regret it. So the way you're going to want to start out, right, is actually you're going to want to flip it inside out so that this side, right, the side with the uh, tag and with the weird little flappy thing at the bottom sticks out. Then you're going to want to measure it. So the way you're going to tell is by holding it straight out, you want to find the place where you can, hmm, okay, how do I explain this? So you want to take this end, put it here, fold this around it, and the tip of this should just reach your chin. So this is a good point for it, um, for me. And then you're going to want to make sure that it's actually inside out like it's supposed to be, because half the time it doesn't do that. Okay, now here comes the actual tying the tie part, okay? You're going to go under with this, and then over. See? Uh, so it's just, you know, you're effectively just pulling it under one side, making sure that you don't twist it at all. Uh, over, you do twist it, so there should be, this side is out, right? And then you're going to want to pull it, see this loop I've created up here? You're going to want to pull it up through that loop. Ugh. Um, and you're going to try and not twist it along the way. Uh, right, so that when you hold it up, this side should be facing outward. Uh, and then you're going to want to see, see this little uh, loop we've created here, right? You're going to want to pull this end through. And it takes a little bit of practice. For instance, in my case, I have uh, managed to flip it upside down somehow. There we go. But when you've got that, you just pull on this end until it's tight enough, and then pull on this end uh, to choke it up, kind of. Uh, and then you figure out that uh, it ended up making the knot weird, and you have to fix it a little bit, and it's actually not as intuitive as it looks. Um, and it takes a lot of practice that I still don't have under my belt. But then, uh, if your tie has one of these loops on the bottom, you want to tuck the narrow end into that. That's the word I've been looking for this whole time, narrow end. And then you're going to want to um, just tuck your collar over the top of that. Uh, if you'd like, you can rebutton the collar. Um, I usually do, but you can leave it unbuttoned if you want to... Uh, be a bad boy, I don't know. I have no idea. That probably signifies something, but I have no idea what it is. Uh, and then, if you have the uh, luxury of having a tie clip, which is one of these little guys, um, you want to take uh, just about your belly button, or a little higher, and you see this flap on the shirt, right next to the buttons? And you're going to just effectively clip the whole ensemble together 
like a little, uh, like a paper clip, kind of, except, well, I guess like a clothespin, clothes or two. Anyway, that'll keep everything in place, right? So that if you're like jumping up and down, it won't go flying up in your face. This is, uh, it, it also helps to keep these two ends together. Um, so that you don't look like that one really, that, that awful picture of Donald Trump getting off the airplane and his tie flying in his face and the fact that there's scotch tape on the bottom of it. Um, that's kind of the image we're, we're attempting to avoid here. Um, so that's how you tie a tie and you can feel free to rewatch this as many times as you need. Uh, follow along with the steps, do whatever you need to do to get that all straightened out. Um, this has been a tutorial. Uh, good luck with all your future tie-tying endeavors.